Will oil reach $100 a barrel? Are we going to see gas at $5 or more per gallon? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Oil prices are rising, and so are prices at the gas pump. Some industry observers are predicting petroleum will breach $100 by the end of the year and that $5 gas will follow. Heating oil will jump up as well. Bad news for homeowners this winter. Will these horrible things happen? They will, unless the Federal Reserve resists the itch to print too much money. Now, the immediate cause is beyond the Fed. Market demand is vastly outstripping supply. The U.S. is open and people are driving a lot to make up for lost time during the lockdowns. China is growing again, and its oil appetite is immense, already exceeding its consumption before the pandemic. India's energy needs are expanding enormously. Even European economies are doing better than expected. But at a time when we are consuming more oil and gas, Washington is waging war against fossil fuels, blocking pipelines, throwing up roadblocks for drilling and exploration. Investors, believing wind and solar are the way to go, are reported to be reluctant to invest in expanding oil and gas production. A Dutch court ordered Shell to slash emissions, meaning reduced oil output. Institutional investors elected three anti-oil directors to the board of Exxon. More demand, but restricted supply, hence surging prices. But these factors are short term. Global oil output will grow to meet what the market wants. Major producing nations like Saudi Arabia will boost output. Iran is expanding exports as the Biden White House lifts sanctions. Such countries need the money. Russia plans to invest tens of billions of dollars to expand its already immense oil industry. Shell won't be mothballing oil rigs. It'll sell such assets to others. The real threat is inflation. That is the Federal Reserve weakening the dollar by creating too many dollars. We've seen this movie before. In the 1970s, oil zoomed from $3 a barrel to almost $40 a barrel. The villain was inflation. Then inflation was conquered. Oil plunged, eventually settling in in the $20 to $25 range. That changed in the early 2000s when the dollar was weakened again. Oil and other commodities erupted. Oil went to over $100 a barrel. When the dollar was somewhat stabilized, it fell to $50 to $60 a barrel. The danger is the Fed creating too much money if Washington actually enacts the rest of Biden's binge spending plans. Now, the best barometer is gold. For a variety of reasons, its value is virtually constant. The price changes for the yellow metal reflect changes in the market's assessments of the currency, not gold. If oil does breach $100 a barrel, a lot of other bad things will be unfolding simultaneously, including falling stocks and bonds. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions, and I look forward to being with you soon again.